So what I'd like to do is to begin with this question. With, with so much physical evidence of large-scale catastrophism in the geological record, why have we as Christians for almost 200 years been so ineffective in defending the biblical account of the flood? You know, if the case is that, is that cut and dried for all this catastrophe, why have we not been able to win the argument? Let me propose what I believe is an important part of the answer. Uh, and that is that no one was able to provide any sort of reasonable explanation uh, of how so much geological change could unfold in just a few months' time as described in the biblical text. In other words, no one could offer a plausible mechanism for this, la for this last almost 200 years. And that basically put people on the defensive when, when the other side would ask, well, what, what possibly, what conceivable mechanism could generate all of this geological change in a few months' time, uh, Christians simply had no answer. A major problem for the church, I believe, it is not being able to, to adequately defend the early chapters of Genesis has resulted in uh, whole denominations going apostate as they began compromising on the truthfulness of the early chapters of the Bible.